Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet for Life. In this video, I am going to share with you how to crochet this beautiful and really easy cardigan using this same blanket pattern. I made this cardigan for this set. It's so beautiful and really easy to make. I'm using this same blanket pattern for this cardigan. It's so beautiful pattern. It's really easy to make. Even beginners can make too. I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. Before I start my new cardigan, I'm going to show you my finished set. These socks are made with the basic socks and I'm using same pattern to finish this hat. And this cardigan I made for the 0 to 6 month size. This blanket is so beautiful and really easy to make. I'm using beautiful pattern with a beautiful border. You can get this blanket in a craft and crochet channel. I'm going to share in this video this cardigan. This size for 0 to 6 month size. When you finish your product, don't forget to share with our Facebook group. I give you Link in the description down below. I'm using white color yarn to make this cardigan. This yarn is double netting yarn. This yarn recommend hook is 4. This yarn ball have 100 gram, 330 meters. This yarn ball enough to make this cardigan with the, this hat. I'm using this one yarn ball to make this cardigan with the hat. I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook to make this cardigan. I'm going to give you this all link in the description down below. To begin, start with this first row. Before we start the first row, we need to make chain. This size for 0 to 6 month. Start with the slip knot and a chain 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Now I have a 42 chain. I'm going to turn this chain to the back side. Skip first 3 chain into the 4th chain. Double crochet. This first 3 chain is the first double crochet. Now I have a 2 double crochet. Into the next chain, one double crochet. Now I have a three, four, five, six, six double crochet. Now I'm going to make a first corner. This first six, six double crochet for the first front side chain one into the same chain one more double crochet this double crochet for the second side now I have a one two three four five Six, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, ten. This ten double crochet for the sleeve. Second corner chain one into the same chain one more double crochet. This double crochet for the third side is the second corner. Now I'm gonna make the back side for this cardigan. Now I have a one double crochet, two, three. Sorry. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve double crochet. This twelve double crochet for the back side for this cardigan. Third corner, chain one into the same chain, double crochet. Now I have into this side. Two double crochet, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and the ten. This ten double crochet for the sleeves. Chain one. This is the fourth corner into the same chain one double crochet. Now I have into this side one, two, two double crochet, three. Four, five, six, six double crochet. This is the first round. This first round have a this two side have a six and this side ten and this side is coming. You can see in here. This is the first round for this cardigan. This six double crochet going to the front side and this two ten double crochet going to the shoulder and twelve double crochet going to the back side now i have a first row for this cardigan we need five more rows two three four five six altogether six rows you can see in here one two three four five six this five rows are going to increase. You can get these five rows in a part one video. If you missed that, I give you a link in the description down below. Now I am nearly finished this first six row with the part one video. Now I finished first six row. One, two, three, four, five, six. This part I made same like a part one video if you missed that i give you a link in the description down below the my first six row one have a six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen this both side is same and this side ten ten fourteen eighteen twenty two twenty five twenty seven and this side have a twelve sixteen twenty twenty four twenty eight thirty two
Now I'm going to start this pattern for this yoke. You can see the same size. This is a 0 to 6 month size. Next I'm going to start row 7. Start with the chain 1. Turn your work other side. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Row 7 is going single crochet. This first chain for the this first double crochet. Into the next double crochet, single crochet. Now I have a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 single crochet. Next, first and second corner, I'm going to put this first and second corner. Go through this first and second corner chain space single crochet this single crochet going to the back side here i have a 32 double crochet i'm going to increase 32 into the 36 now i have a two single crochet next into this each single double crochet to single crochet now i'm in a corner into this chain space one single crochet i'm going to increase in here one again go through the second and sorry third and fourth corner single crochet now i have a 36 single crochet for the back side next into the each single cro sorry each double crochet to one single crochet two three four into this last space one single crochet then it's coming out together 16 single crochet for this side now I am finished row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Row 7. I am going to start this pattern. I am using this pattern for this cardigan. It's same like a blanket pattern. Row 8. I am going to start this pattern. You can see this front side have a 3 arrows. And this side have a 1, 2, 3. In the back side, have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 arrow line. Row 8, start with the chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn your work other side. This first 3 chain is the first double crochet into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook. Next, I'm going to make treble crochet into the row 6. This 2 is the 1, 2. Into the third double crochet, treble crochet. Go through this third double crochet. 2 loops and release 2 loops. Now, I have a 3 loops on a hook. Go through these 3 loops. Next, into the next 3 single crochet. This 3 single crochet to 1 double crochet. 1, 2 and 3. 3 double crochet. Again, front force double crochet into the same double crochet. Go through 2 loops. Again, go through two last loop on a hook into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook. 
Now I have a three loops and a hook go through these three loops. This is the first arrow for this side. Again into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop and a hook. This time into here one, two, three, four. Skip four double crochet into the fifth double crochet, front four double crochet, last loop and a hook. Now I have a three loops, go through these three loops. Again into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. Three. Again front four triple crochet into the same double crochet. Last loop on a hook into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook, go through these three loops. Now I have a one, two arrows for this side. Again into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook, one, two, three, four, into the fifth double crochet, front fourth double crochet. Last loop on a hook, go through these three loops into the next three single crochet, double crochet. One, two, and a three. Again into the same double crochet to front fourth double crochet. Last loop on a hook into the next single crochet to one double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Go through these three loops. Now I have a three arrows. I skip three in here. Four, four. Now I have in here two. If you follow the blanket, you know this pattern. Now I'm gonna make into this single crochet this single crochet for this corner double crochet last loop on a hook this time i'm gonna use in the back side first double crochet in the corner one into this double crochet double crochet last loop on a hook into the next three double crochet sorry three single crochet to three double crochet Again, front four double crochet into the same double crochet. Last loop on a hook. This time I'm gonna use double crochet into this same space when you use the third double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Three loops on a hook. Go through these three loops. This is the first arrow for the back side into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook, skip one, two, three double crochet into the fourth double crochet, skip three into the fourth double crochet, front fourth double crochet. 3 double crochet again front four double crochet to the same double crochet into the next single crochet to double crochet now I have a two into the next single crochet double crochet this time skip one, two, three, into the fourth double crochet. Here we skip three, in here three. Front four double crochet, last loop on a hook. Three loops on a hook, go through this three. Into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. Again front four double crochet, into the same double crochet. Into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook. 
now I have a 1, 2, 3 into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook. This time is coming 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 into the fifth one. Skip 4 double crochet into the fifth one, front four triple crochet. 3 double crochet into the next 3 single crochet. Again front four double crochet into the same double crochet. Again double crochet, last loop on a hook, go through this 3 and double crochet last loop on a hook this time again one two three four into the fifth one front four trouble crochet sorry trouble crochet skip four into the fifth one front four triple crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet Again front four double crochet into the same double crochet. Into the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook. Next double crochet is coming into the fifth one. You skip four double crochet into the fifth one, front four double crochet. Again into the next 3 single crochet to 3 double crochet. Front 4 double crochet into the same double crochet. Close with the double crochet. Now I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 arrows for this side. Next I am going to make last 2 arrows. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 double crochet. This last one is going to 1 narrow. Then I have a left 7 into the 4th one. In here to 1, 2, 3. Skip 3 double crochet into the 4th into the double crochet to front 4th double crochet. Into the next 3 single crochet to 3 double crochet. Again, front into the same double crochet to front 4 double crochet. This time I am going to use same double single crochet to close this arrow. Into the next single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook. This time skip 3 double crochet into the last double crochet. Front 4 double crochet. Next into the next 3 single crochet to coming 3 double crochet. 1. 2, and into this corner 1, 3. Again into the same double crochet to front force double crochet. I'm using same single crochet to close this arrow. Go through the same single crochet and double crochet and close this. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 arrows for the back side. Next, single crochet to double crochet, last loop on a hook. Into this side, this is the front side, we need 3 arrows, same like other side. Then I am going to start skip 
वन टू थ्री इंटू द फोर्थ वन इसको टू स्कीप थ्री वन टू थ्री इंटू द फोर्थ डबल क्रोश एट टू फ्रंट फोर्थ डबल क्रोश एट इंटू द नेक्स्ट थ्री सिंगल क्रोश एट टू थ्री डबल क्रोश एट Again into the same double crochet to front post double crochet into the next single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook next double crochet last loop on a hook this time one two three four into the fifth one front post double crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. Again, into the same double crochet to front post double crochet close with the next single crochet to double crochet this is the last one skip one two three into the fourth one front post double crochet into the next three single crochet to three double crochet into the same double crochet to front post double crochet into the this single crochet double crochet last loop on a hook and close this arrow now i have a one two three arrows for this side into this last single crochet double crochet now i finish row 8 row 9 is start with the chain 1 turn your work at the side this first chain is the first single crochet into the next double crochet to one single crochet now i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Six six single crochet chain one into the next five double crochet to five single crochet two three four five chain one again five single crochet chain one start with the six single crochet then in middle is going five single crochet chain one. Follow this pattern all around to this round. One, two, three, four, five. Into this same last one, six. Start with the six single crochet. Finish with the six single crochet. In middle is going five single crochet with the chain one. This is the row nine. This the repeat row. Row ten. Row ten is start with the chain three. One two three. Turn your work other side. Into the first single crochet. One double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Double crochet. Into this middle double crochet. Inside this arrow. Here have a three double crochet. Into this second double crochet, front force double crochet, last loop on a hook, go through these three loops. Into the next three single crochet to three double crochet. One, two, three. Again, into the same double crochet to. Front force double crochet. Last loop on a hook. Go through the next single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook. Go through these three loops and close. Chain one. Next, I'm gonna make the next arrow. In, skip this chain. Here have a five single crochet into the first double single crochet, double crochet, last loop on a hook, front force double crochet, 
into this middle of this arrow double crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops and close into the next three single crochet to three double crochet you can see this each arrow have a five single crochet separate by the chain one front four double crochet into the same double crochet last loop on a hook into this single crochet double crochet last loop on a hook go through this three loops and chain one now you can see this each arrow is coming to inside the arrow we have a five single crochet i'm going to show you one more skip one single sorry chain one into the first single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook into this double crochet front four treble crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops into the next three double single crochet to three, three double crochet again front four treble crochet into the same double crochet last loop on a hook into the next single crochet double crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops and chain one now i finished three it's really easy next one is coming you can see each arrow have a five single crochet and front four treble crochet come in each arrow middle double crochet now i am going to finish this row 10 middle of this double crochet to front four treble crochet three double crochet into the next three single crochet again front four treble crochet into the same double crochet into the next double sorry next single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook three loops on a hook go through these three loops into this last single crochet to one double crochet you can see i'm start with the three double crochet sorry three chain and finish with the one double crochet this is the my finished cardigan you can see this each arrow is going to the inside the arrow it's really easy only two rows to repeat in this cardigan we have to repeat row 9 and row 10 you can see in finish 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 arrows for the for this cardigan high this each arrow need two rows one is single crochet with the chain one one is going with the double crochet with the front force treble crochet row 11 start with the chain one this is the repeat rows into the next five double crochet to five single crochet then all together come in six single crochet start with the six single crochet and finish with the six single crochet chain one into the next five double crochet to five single crochet this is the repeat row row nine row nine and row ten is the repeat you can see they have come in five single crochet and chain one and five single crochet finish with the six single crochet then is coming end and start is coming six single crochet and this each arrow need five single crochet this is the cardigan high this one need eight arrows now i have a two arrows i need six more arrows now i'm gonna finish this cardigan into this middle double crochet to front four treble crochet 
three double crochet into this three single crochet front four double crochet into the same double crochet into the next single crochet to double crochet and close this arrow into this last chain one double crochet now I have one two three four five six seven eight eight arrows for this eight arrows you can see in this side I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen row for the eight arrows. One, two, three, four, five, six. This six is the first five, six row. I have a eight arrows. Each arrow we need two rows single crochet row and a double crochet row then I have altogether 16 row for this cardigan plus 6 first row I gonna make the buttonhole for this side now start with the chain 1 into the same space one more single crochet this is the corner into this double crochet to two single crochet into this single crochet row to one single crochet again into this double crochet two single crochet next row is coming with a single crochet into this single crochet one single crochet into this double crochet to two single crochet is coming two single crochet and then one single crochet for this double crochet to come in two single crochet follow this pattern to this corner now I finish in this side with the single crochet into this last double crochet to two single crochet chain one into the same space one more single crochet next I'm gonna make single crochet around to this neck single crochet into this corner a single crochet is going skip this two into the next single sorry next pair to single crochet each corner is going same way next one is coming into the, here one single and skip two and single now I am finished around to this next single crochet now I am in this front side corner chain one into the this double crochet two single crochet same like other side again into the next double crochet to two single crochet again two single crochet this side going same like other side double crochet to two single crochet see into the single crochet one single crochet same like this side follow this pattern to this corner this each single crochet line to is coming one single crochet now I'm in this corner two single crochet chain one into the same space one more single crochet just the corner next is coming each double crochet to one single crochet
by single crochet into this chain space you can see this chain space into this chain space one single crochet again five single crochet into this chain space one single crochet follow this pattern to this corner I'm going to show you end of this corner now I'm in this corner single crochet chain one into the same space one more single crochet join with the chain one using by slip stitch I made all around this cardigan single crochet second round start with the chain one into this each single crochet to I gonna make one single crochet you can see is coming each single crochet to one single crochet without this first six row here to here now I gonna mark buttonhole for this first six rows first I gonna mark in here one buttonhole next one I gonna mark in top of this here first row I'm using first row to first one and third one to sixth row row six middle of this two I gonna mark second one into this space you can see I'm going to mark three row after buttonhole. Next, space to single crochet. Next, I'm going to make the buttonhole. I'm using a small size button. Then I'm making chain one. This size, for this side, enough one chain. If you're going to use the big one, big button, you have to use chain 2 skip this single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet now I have a 1 2 3 4 5 single crochet chain 1 skip this single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet if you wanna use the big button you can make two chain and skip two single crochet I'm gonna use a small button chain one skip one single crochet into this last single crochet into this last single crochet to single crochet now I can cut this yarn I'm finished second round for this side next I'm using into this side I'm not gonna make one more round for this neck I'm gonna use into this corner to add this yarn I'm using this same it's best to make one chain one next into this each single crochet to come in one single crochet same like other side this side we're not going to make buttonhole this side we are using to add the button follow this pattern to this corner now I'm in this corner single crochet into this corner single crochet chain one into the same space one more single crochet 
now I'm gonna make into this E single crochet to one single crochet follow this pattern to this corner now I'm in this corner chain is placed to one single crochet chain one into the same space one more single crochet into the next single crochet one single crochet I'm gonna close this second round using this first chain slip stitch now I finished two round around to this cardigan without neck round three start with the chain one into the next single crochet single crochet again into the next single crochet to one single crochet this side is going into this each single crochet to single crochet now I'm in a buttonhole space into this chain space to two single crochet one two into the next single crochet to single crochet again into this chain space into this chain space two single crochet again into the chain sorry single crochet to single crochet into the buttonhole space two single crochet into this chain space to two single crochet two single crochet sorry two single crochet go through this last single crochet and slip stitch now I can cut this yarn I'm gonna finish this third round in here again into the other side I'm gonna start in the other side this the buttonhole this three buttonhole In this side, I'm going to add the yarn same like before. Go through this first chain and add this yarn. Into the same space chain one and into this each single crochet to single crochet follow this pattern to this corner now I'm in this corner single crochet chain one into the same space one more single crochet Next, I'm going to use the pattern for this border, two single crochet, three single crochet. I'm going to make same border like a blanket, chain three, go through this two loop and single crochet. Again. One single crochet, two, three, four. Into this line, you can see this have a single crochet with the sorry chain with the line. I'm gonna make this pattern for this each line.
chain 3 go through this 2 loop and single crochet five single crochet into this each line I am going to use this pattern for this border follow this pattern to this corner I am going to finish with this corner three chain go through this two loop and single crochet into this corner single crochet now you can see this border is coming so beautiful same like a blanket chain one into the same space single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet join with the first chain using by slip stitch I made three round around to this cardigan then you can get the so beautiful finishing I am gonna cut this yarn this three round enough for this cardigan I made three round around this cardigan I am using same border this matching border for this cardigan now I finished this cardigan next I am gonna add Two sleeves for this cardigan you can see this is coming so beautiful finishing I'm gonna use long sleeves for this cardigan I'm using this side sleeves to back side I'm gonna add this yarn into the third sorry into the third double crochet I join this yarn into the third double crochet first round is going with the single crochet into this each double crochet I'm gonna make single crochet this corner one more single crochet this corner is going through this chain space go this both space and single crochet next into this space one single crochet again into the each double crochet one single crochet all around to this round is going each double crochet to one single crochet follow this pattern all around to this round I'm going to show you end of this round now I finish this first round with a single crochet join with the first chain using by slip stitch round two start with the chain three one two three into one two three and four go around to this last single crochet double crochet last loop on a hook I'm using last single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook trouble crochet front force trouble crochet this corner to third double crochet last loop on a hook go through this three loops into the next three single crochet to three double crochet one two and three three double crochet again front force trouble crochet into the same double crochet last loop on a hook next double crochet is coming into this corner 
last loop on a hook, go through these three loops. Now I finish one arrow for this, this sleeves. This one going to the back side. Now I want to make into the next double crochet. This one for the front side. Last loop on a hook, double crochet, last loop on a hook. Next double crochet is going. This is the third double crochet. This corner to sorry. This one in the back side. This is the front side. This front side first arrow double crochet into the second double crochet into the second double crochet front force double crochet last loop on a hook three loops on a hook go through these three loops into the next three single crochet to three double crochet again front force double crochet into the same double crochet last loop on a hook into the next single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops first one to I skip one single crochet sorry one double crochet next one i gonna skip one two three four double crochet one two three four double crochet into the fifth one front force sorry front force treble crochet into the fifth one front force treble crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops and close into the next five sorry next three single crochet to three double crochet again front force treble crochet last loop on a hook into the next single crochet to one double crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops into the next double crochet to sorry next single crochet to double crochet again i'm gonna skip four double crochet into the fifth double crochet front force treble crochet last loop on a hook go through these three loops and close into the next three single crochet to three double crochet this the third arrow you can see this one is to the back side one two three this three for the front side i skip four double crochet into the fifth one four double crochet into the fifth one into the back side I skip four double crochet into the fifth one is coming front for treble crochet again skip four into the fifth one sorry skip four into the fifth one that we have already one in the back side this two loops to two double crochet to next two arrow now i'm gonna finish this round with the last arrow skip four into the Sorry, skip three into the fourth one. Treble crochet, front force treble crochet. Sorry, last one we have to skip only three double crochet. And close this arrow. Join with the third chain using by slip stitch then is coming three arrows for the back side and three arrows for the front side you can see one two three and this one two three this three for the front side we skip first one double crochet four double crochet again skip four double crochet Again, skip four double crochet, and here skip three double crochet. Then this two have a three double crochet. Last two arrow space is coming three double crochet. Next row start with the chain one into this 
each double crochet to one single crochet start with the six single crochet six single crochet chain one into the next five double crochet to five single crochet this the repeat row for this sleeves only two rows to repeat for this pattern five single crochet chain one into the next five double crochet to five single crochet separate with the chain one each arrow line separate with the chain one follow this pattern all around to this round now I am going to finish this round chain one join with the first chain using by slip stitch is the first repeat row is round three round four start with the chain three this time into the next single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hole trouble crochet one force trouble crochet is going to this middle of this double crochet here have a three double crochet into this second double crochet to front force double crochet last loop and a hole go through these three loops into the next three single crochet to three double crochet again front force double crochet into the same double crochet last loop on a hook into the next single crochet to double crochet last loop on a hook Three loops on a hook go through these three loops close with the chain one skip chain one into the next single crochet skip this chain one into the next single crochet double crochet last loop on a hook front force double crochet into this double crochet last loop on a hook go through this three into the next three single crochet to three double crochet you know this pattern now you follow this pattern all around to this round I'm gonna show you end of this round now I'm gonna finish this round four closing this last arrow go through these three loops chain one join with the third chain using by slip stitch now I finish four rows Next row start with the single crochet. This the repeat row. This time I'm gonna repeat row number three. This repeat row is number three and row four. Chain one, five single crochet, separate with the chain one. This round three and round four is the repeat row. This pattern have only two rows to repeat you can continue this pattern to your slip size I need six arrows for these sleeves now I'm gonna finish this sleeves chain one join with the third chain using by slip stitch now I have a six arrow with the 12 round I finished 1 2 3 4 5 6 arrows then all together coming 12 round for the this sleeves round 13 start with the chain 1 single crochet into the next stitch single crochet skip next stitch into the next two stitch to two single crochet skip next stitch into the next stitch single crochet single crochet skip one into the next two stitch to two single crochet this round is going two single crochet skip one stitch two single crochet skip one two single crochet this going two single crochet skip one now I finish this round 13 with the single crochet skip one 
join with the first chain using by slip stitch. You can see it's still a little bit bigger. Chain 1. Next, round 14, I'm going to make into this each single crochet to one single crochet. This round 14 going to into each single crochet to one single crochet. Now I'm nearly finished this round 14. Join with the first chain using by slip stitch. It's still a little bit bigger. Next round 15, start with the chain 1, single crochet, into the next single crochet, again 3 single crochet, skip 4th one into the next single crochet, single crochet, this time is going 3 single crochet, skip 1 single crochet, again 3 single crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round. Now I'm gonna finish this round using by slip stitch. Now I finish 15 round. I'm gonna make two more round for this sleeves. Last two round. This two round is going into this each single crochet to single crochet. Now I finish three round. Next two round is going into each single crochet to single crochet. Two more round. Now I finish this two round with the single crochet into each single crochet to single crochet. Now I can cut this yarn all together. For these sleeves, have a 17 rows. Sorry, 17 round. You can see here have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 round for this corner. This is the sleeves for this side. And this side, this sleeves going with, you can see this one I start in the back side too. I'm going to under this hand and this side going into this front side, back side to over this hand, same like other side. This the Front force treble crochet going this double crochet to skip one, two, three, four into the fifth one. Before you start the this sleeves, you you can mark this same like this side. Here in this side I mark in a third one into the third one. Next one is coming, skip 3 into the this double crochet, skip 3. It's coming same like other side. This one going under this hand, this round is going over this hand. Skip 1, 2 into this third one start with this third one is the front force treble crochet we have to join this yarn into this corner okay i'm going to show you a little bit join with this yarn in this corner first round going with a single crochet into each double crochet to single crochet. Now we are going to finish this first round. This last single crochet going through these two corner and a single crochet into this space single crochet. Join with the first chain using by slip stitch.
this is the first round you can see I'm going over this hand chain one two three into this next treble crochet is going into the third one two three th into this third double crochet now you know this pattern you can follow this pattern just i am going to show you which double crochet to come in front force double crochet into this third double crochet next one is coming this is the back side next is skip three it's easy to follow this next slaves skip three into the fourth one skip three into the fourth one front force treble crochet next one is coming skip four double crochet and into the fifth one same like other side then you can follow this pattern all around your slip size now i finished these two sleeves you can use the yarn needle to hide this yarn and you can add the button for the this side now i finished this cardigan you can see i add the button and i hide this yarn it's coming look like this this sleeves is coming around 19 or 20 centimeter and this cardigan high is coming around 20 24 centimeter this one for 0 to 6 month size you can see this one back side have a 5 sorry 8 arrow line and front side have a 3 arrow line now I finish this cardigan for this matching blanket. I hope you will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. See you again with another video.